And by the way, I don't want any YouTube shit about me being racist because I call Chinese Chinamen. Go fuck yourselves. I call anybody what, what I want to call them when they're here. This is, you know, there's intergalactic truth, intercontinental truth, local truth, and then there's my fucking truth. No, no, I'm talking about the group that you sat down, A, B, C, D, E. Did they finish their first case? Yeah, finished their first case, yeah. Okay. translator here. I, I, oh, come on, give him some Chinaman shit. I mean, the, uh, and by the way, I don't want any YouTube shit about me being racist because I call Chinese Chinaman. Go fuck yourselves. I call anybody what, what I want to call them when they're here. This is, you know, there's intergalactic truth, intercontinental truth, local truth, and then there's my fucking truth. So, um, okay, everybody's done for the first. Now, the um, who uh, do we have? Um, well, we're not gonna have any violence. Start with case uh, with A, Van Clusterfuck. Uh, yeah, as I told you when I went around to the groups and the breakout groups, there were two apparent deals that were very doable. Uh, there were two that were, weren't doable. Uh, shite. Uh, one, because uh, of the lack of uh, testicle of the uh, one case, uh, not a seller's room, not seller's remorse, because they haven't sold them yet, uh, probably wouldn't get rid of. Because the first case was some belong somebody in your group, and it, that'll be the way until we get a couple days from now when we start doing business case. I also gave you an article last night on internal rates of return. And um, does anybody have any, uh, anybody like to volunteer to explain uh, either that method of internal rate of return or a different one that you might be using in your um, in your search, in your worldwide search for acquisition candidates. Does anybody, does anybody that is looking at deals use that IRR? methodology and why your deal so shit um yeah but the bottom line is and i'm stealing a little bit of my thunder from nine days from now is that if you use that in your worldwide search for acquisition you might as well kill yourself today because trust me josh doesn't know what irr is he doesn't have a fucking clue he only learned what debt and equity was or are about eight days ago he had got his whole board the accountants the lawyers and when he was starting to talk to the banks he thought maybe damn is there anything else i should know debt and equity. you heard him he found me on march said he wanted to come to the June seminar, but he couldn't for some reason and um, sold out. And he came to the, I think it was August, come on, July, August, right before my birthday. So he came to the, so he, 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 um, he did the seminar and he didn't learn deck and equity at the seminar. Cause I focus, I told him to focus in on the board because the board makes everything happen. <laughs> focus in on the chairman. Cause everything else, old rig, drip down, eminent chairman. And if you have a good, strong chairman, support you. Uh, and if you don't have a good, strong chairman, you're going to get thrown out and the chairman may throw you. So if, if the deal is good enough, uh, but then that's why it's good. And that's why, and you can change hands change chairman. Uh, I don't recommend it because then that sends a message to the uh, rest. And that's why when you have a chairman that is a buddy buddy and swapping spit and bodily fluids with the other board members because he brought them on, that's a problem. Not always. can't be a problem. And that's why when some of you email me in your weekly reports, Dan, the chairman wants to bring on so-and-so. Um, okay. He wanted to bring on so-and-so. You remember? You, you know, he wanted to bring on so-and-so, some guy he wanted to bring on, and he really, he wanted him to be the worker, be chairman of cunt, probably, I don't know. And, um, and if you're watching this, I don't mean against cunt. And uh, so Andridge, uh, he recruited his, his board, and initially, would be that there's a down. I mean, well, the last fucking thing's like you. And some of you, it's even worse case. Some of you, Ah, you might be able to sneak by, but for most people, that not just in this seminar, you don't want a, the board to be like you. Board. Okay, so the IRR article, I give it out to you because bullshit. And I, I, I'm almost positive that 90% of you couldn't do the I, that that equation. 90, but it's not. I was gonna have Bert come up and explain it and uh, do an example of the IRR and how he used it to filter through his, his acquisition candidates, pickle factories to whatever the fuck those other things were who uh, sent me. Um, the uh, But you don't need that. You need somebody on your board that can do IRR calculation, but it doesn't, and that's what the CFO, so the second part of the board is the CFO, finance, wherever part. Uh, and then, uh, and then of course, then CEO, because in many cases you won't be EO. And so when you get down to it, you understand why some of the guys and gals in years gone by don't even put their profiles. They list chairman, blah, 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 blah. They forget why? Because you're the weak link. Not all the time, but a majority of the time you are, well, all the time you're the weak link based on the industry experts and all those guys that have all the experience. You're not the weak link vis-a-vis -vis brought them all together. You had the energy and this and that. The most common thing I hear from the senior guys, not as old as I am, senior guys that are on these boards, I admire your energy. Folks, in some cases, you remind me of myself when I was young, and that's, and that's what you bring to the table. At the end of the day, will that be enough to keep you on the board? <clears throat> it depends. It depends how good you are and culture 
cultivate. And one of the reasons I have Chris send out um, information to the board members periodically, keep them in the loop, them in the loop. And the um, because you don't want them to get bored, we've got a couple guys here in this room that have lost CFOs. You know, after three, four, five months, they say, you know, I'm a CFO of. So you have to keep them engaged. You have to keep them engaged. Now, we're not going to, uh, um, they say any questions on anything I just said. Right. <clears throat> that last point in terms of keeping them engaged, how often would you recommend in the early stages when you're looking? Once a month. Once a month, though, right? Anything particular you would send them? I look at it. Exactly. Well, where you, what you're doing? I mean, status of the deal. Has anybody left the board? Um, but so normally that's when your, uh, your your dick shrivels up uh, because you don't, you know, should when should I, you know, when should I tell them that they uh, two guys left? Should I tell them? The, um, how did you phrase it? I forget, Chris. I mean, Andre as well. I mean, two, three of you have asked. They left. What do I tell people? Well, first of all, you don't lie. You don't lie. But when you tell them is and you and you told them after we replaced them, right? Okay. Like luck would have it, or fate, or Allah, wherever the fuck we replaced them with stronger people than we had. So. Uh, but uh, you don't wait five months and then all of a sudden <clears throat> and you do have a board meeting <clears throat> and they show up to the board meeting and there's all these fucking new guys and, and, and Chris has done it pretty well. He goes and he sees them, interfaces with them, you know, he talks to them in addition to the uh, weekly, uh, monthly, uh, and the CFO and the COO uh, engaging with, on some cases, the deal. And if you keep them engaged, you keep them in the loop um, <clears throat> with good news and bad. Try to have some good news, you're going to give them bad news. The only thing that they see is, you know, half the board left. That's not such a great uh, news release. Uh, but we replaced them with, you know, Rick and Van Clusterfuck and Tony and da, 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 and then this is why they're so good, you know, then that's good. Most of the problems you have with your uh, board members, well, you'll cause. In fact, almost all of it. You'll cause. You'll cause because you'll think wrongfully. So even though it's in the 1900 slides and it's in the book and it's on uh, numerous podcasts and all the fucking uh, information that I have uh, that you haven't read uh, and it's there. One of the things in the new year, I'm not going to answer questions that are anymore that uh, are in the material. My days of answering those stupid questions are over. And if you continue to ask me the stupid questions, you get, I'm getting, I'm going to go, you're out of there. I got an umpire in a baseball game. Can't wait to do that because as I told you, I just have made it too easy. Um, now, if your wife gets kidnapped by an alien and your daughter is run over by a truck, not knocked up, but run over, killed, dead, you know, uh, I might cut you some slack. But there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. Here. You know, you're, you're in a bank uh, cashing your welfare check and the bank gets robbed and cut down, you know, and you're in the hospital and you're on a machine. Yeah, a respirator. Maybe, maybe I'll cut you some slack. But there's no guarantee. Okay, any other questions before we get rid of YouTube and we start uh, with the uh, case? No other questions? YouTube, see you later. Happy the day after. Here it's Boxing Day the day after. Some places uh, they... Um, they uh, celebrate the day after more than the actual day. But see, uh, I, I got some emails, why am I not in a suit? Because I told them they could dress smart casual. Since these guys got no money to buy any smart casual fucking clothes, they wear their suits without ties or some shit. You're, you're close to learn here? Okay, he's, he's got, okay. okay. But this is what smart casual looks like. This is how rich people dress. It used to be called country club dress. 